Okay, so I have a question here uh, from a student again, and it's a question from homework assignment, which is here. A particular brand of gasoline has a density of such and such at 25 degrees Celsius and so on. All right, so let's, let's, let me, I'm going to model, I'm going to do this two different ways. First of all, I'm going to model um, how I would solve this, but I'm also going to go back and sort of teach uh, what the book teaches here. So let me go back to here and say that there's a certain brand of gasoline that has a density of 0 0.737 grams per mil. All right, and that was at uh, 25 degrees Celsius. And the question then, let's go back here, is how many grams of this gasoline would fill a tank of 70 gallons? Okay, so let's go here. Um, by the way, every student who gets this question gets a slightly different uh, size of a, of a tank, and you might also be getting different, different densities. So the size of the tank was, uh, let me say, well, let me go back here and read this. Size of the tank was just a minute here. Lost it. Was 15.8 gallons. Okay. Volume is equal to 15.8 gallons. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to do this with a different color, in case somebody's. In, you know, this is. You might have a different number. 15.8 gallons. Uh, this, oops, I better say gallons because we've got grams up here. All right. So, and then the question was, what is the mass that needs to be filled there? All right. So let me let me solve this two different ways. First way is that the density is equal to mass per volume. That's a definition of density. We know it's the mass per volume because that's the way the units are laid out. Right? Units are uh, mass divided by volume. Okay. So. That's the formula for it, and we just have to figure out what the mass is. Oh, oh, rather, we, we know the density. We have to figure out the mass. So in order to do this, it looks like the mass is going to equal density times volume, right? Can you see why I did that? If you can't see why I did that, you need to ask that question to me in class because uh, it's a big deal here. It matters very much. Okay, so let's go back here and say that what we have to do now is find the density and find the volume and we're done right so the density is 0 0.737 grams per mil and the volume is I'm going to do it in red again 15.8 gallons okay so the challenge that we have here is that these units don't all cancel out I'm not going to end up with grams I think the question was so uh, let's look back at the question how many grams, right? So what is the mass in grams? That's the question. And so I want my answer to be in grams, but my gallons and my mills don't cross each other off. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to convert gallons to mills or mills to gallons. Well, we were given a, a, a conversion in the question stem, and the conversion was one gallon is equal to I think 3.78 liters. Is that right? Let me go back and check that. One gallon is equal to 3.78 liters. That's right. Okay, and we know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. All right, so let's go ahead and convert the milliliters to to uh, to gallons, so we can put, or rather, let's convert these gallons to milliliters. All right, so let's do this. Let's go. We're going to do a conversion here, and we'll put the actual number up here when we get it to mils. But we're going to do that is we're going to say that one gallon, well, fifteen point eight gallons. Right, we'll cross off the gallons here and make it into liters. It's 3.78 liters. 
but we want it in mils. So we're going to cross off liters also. All right, these are going to cross off and we'll be left with mils. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate what that is. I'm picking up my calculator right now. You should do the same thing. It's going to be 15.8 times 3.78 times 1,000 is equal to 5. I'm going to put this in red because uh, your work might have some, a different number. 5,900 and, not rather, 59,724 mils. All right? So uh, this number then is going to be 59,724 mils. Well, this is perfect. Because when I multiply these two numbers now, the mills are going to cross off, and I'm going to be left with grams. We already got rid of the gallons, right? I'm going to be left with grams, which is exactly what I wanted. So the answer here is going to be 0 0.737 times 59,724, and it's going to be grams because I crossed off my mills, which is equal to 0 0.737 times 59,724 equals 44,000, zero, uh, and 16.588, okay? Now, this says to three sig figs. I think the question says to three sig figs. So, let's go back. Express your answer to three sig figs and include the appropriate units. Where am I here? So if it's three sig figs, it's going to have to be at least that one, four, four, zero, and there's my three sig figs right there, right? So one six must be, uh, oops, I can't put a decimal point there. All right, so it's 44,000, but the problem is that number looks like it only has two sig figs in it, and if I'm going to indicate that that's a sig fig, right, because I need three, then I'm going to have to write 4.5. 4, 0, times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, times 10 to the 4 grams, right? Um, just a moment here, let me look back at this again. How many grams? That's right. Okay, and so there's your answer. Uh, it's 4.4 zero times 10 to the fourth grams. I said I was going to calculate this two different ways, but let's let's say that this way uh, is good enough for now. I think there's some more elaborate uh, calculations that we can do that end up look that end up being a little safer, but uh, a little more complicated. So let's let's say this is good enough for now. And uh, this is from the homework assignment uh, and, and an answer to a student question. So hopefully this is helpful.